Hello and welcome to the training video series for Sound POS. My name is Cesar Rivas and I am the National Sales Executive. Today we're going to be going uh, over how to add products. Now, when I say add products, I'm talking about manually adding uh, individual products. Uh, we've seen in the previous video how you can do a, a mass upload of your products using our Excel template, uh, but this is actually meant for you to learn how to uh, uh, add a product individually. All right, so there are two places where you can add products uh, for Sound POS. First one is on the web portal, so we're going to go there first. I'm going to go ahead and log in uh, to my reseller web portal, and then I'll log into the actual store. And uh, and today we're going to be uh, using uh, the convenience store demo that I've got on here, Michael Mart. Okay. Now, a couple of things before you add a product, and that's whether you do it here or whether you do it on the uh, on the the terminal you want to make sure that um you know if you're you've got a category uh, um, you got a, a, a sales tax uh you got a printer um any attributes you want to make sure that they're already created prior to adding the product okay so we're going to go to the catalog and products and this is where we actually add the new product here okay so pretty straightforward you know you've got your regular fields um you've got your product name on here um and we just say new product one uh, uh, you can actually use a short name for a descriptive uh you can have a longer description on here and then you can choose a category and we encourage you to use category especially if you're not going to be using a, a scanner for barcodes uh, because then obviously it's going to be a lot harder for you to navigate and find items if you've got a a large uh, database of categories so here we're just going to add something that bear the candy, okay? New product one, the candy. Um, you can choose a display order or let the system choose whether it's alphabetically or by the order in which it was made. Um, there's a setting for that on the system as well. Um, if you do have a SKU, you can go ahead and scan it right in here, okay? Or type it in. Also, if you've got a secondary uh, barcode or any other secondary identifier, you can do it there. Um, product vendor is if you're using, um, for right, right now it's uh, uh, for, tobacco products so we have really sing a, a single vendor for tobacco products so it would only apply for those who've actually signed up for that add-on all right um you can also choose uh whether this item is going to be sold by weight and the reality is that even though our, our our system is labeled as sales by weight when you put a unit in here any unit will will, will show up on the system meaning that um if you are selling something um that's uh, um, metered or or uh, um counted in any way um, by another measure such as uh, length or maybe volume, you can go ahead and put that unit there and that's what's going to show up. So if you're selling something by inches, if you put inches on here, um, when you bring it up and you put 10 on the system, it's going to calculate inches and it's going to print out inches on the actual receipt. So again, even though the activation it says by weight, you can pretty much use any any unit on here. All right. Um, we we give you the option here to do POS enabled and show on the POS menu for a couple of reasons. Uh, POS enabled uh, in case that uh, you know you have an item that maybe you run out of, but you don't want to delete it from the database. You just go ahead and disable it here, and it won't show on the POS while you don't have it in stock. Okay, and then show on POS menu because there are some items that maybe are going to be ingredients. We call those modifiers. Um, so these are created the same way as you create regular products, but you may not want to show them on the POS menu, even though they are available as a modifier. That's where you would disable it here. Okay, and then the EBT. The EBT is something that you um, activate at the individual product level, um, and you manually activate or deactivate. So if it is something that accepts EBT payment, you activate it here, and then you'll be able to um, use the EBT payment um, for uh, for at, at the moment of, of the purchase. All right. The next section has to do with pricing. So first, obviously, pretty self-explanatory again, kind of the price that you charge. OK, let's say you charge ten dollars. All right. And then the price with tax, it'll automatically out, uh, calculate it once you choose the tax standard. All right. Or, or the tax category, rather. You can also choose that the item is tax exempt. And we do have a tax exempt function anyway at the moment of ringing it up. Um, now, if you do know your average cost, so you want to input that here, let's say it's $5, then um, the system will automatically calculate what your your profit and gross uh, and, and your gross margins are, right? 
Uh, so you're you're making 100% there with a gross margin of 50%. Then you've got the inventory section here, where you've got various ways of tracking inventory. So you can have something that you don't track inventory. You can track inventory by the product, and then it'll actually ask you, you know, what you're gonna put in as your initial inventory amount. And also you can choose a low inventory uh, quantity threshold. So it'll populate uh, a low inventory um, report that it's already established on the system. All right. Uh, you can also choose to track in, uh, inventory by attributes. So for example, maybe a size, a color, you can even have an attribute matrix and you can actually keep inventory there. So right now we chose to track inventory by the product. But I'll show you how to how you can also track inventory by the attributes uh, in, a, in a different video. All right. Now, if this were a modifier, meaning that uh, um, you've got a, uh, you know, an ingredient or something like that, this is where you would choose that. OK. All right. So you you've got all your information listed on here. OK, if you do have additional printers, you can choose here. If it is a restricted age product, you can also, you know, activate it on here if you've got a global restricted age product for the store um it'll go ahead and pull it up as your default but you can modify this uh, for the individual product to have a different age if it's if it is restricted age um second time here you can actually add a picture okay so we go ahead and say save and continue okay perfect okay then you can add a picture once you've saved it on here now, be, be careful as far as the resolution of your pictures. Uh, you know, the file has to be within uh, one megabyte. So um, I'll go ahead and choose any picture. I've got a bunch of, of files here I can use. Let's see here, auto parts. Let's go ahead and use um, the bakery. Okay. And you've got some product icons here, so I'll, do, I'll use a cookie. Okay. I know I've already tested these, so they should all be under a one megabyte. All right. And then if you do use uh, attributes, this is where you would find the attributes here. OK, we can add a, an attribute for size and things like that. OK. All right. So we go back to the previous page here. And you get your new product listed on here. That's one way to add a new product. The other way to add a new product is if you go to the actual terminal. Let's go into the actual terminal screen here. OK. All right, lead and log back in. Bear with me one second while I pull it up. And we're going to go to an E700. Okay, which is my, uh, my demo unit here. Okay, I'm already logged into the E700. Just want to show you how to create a product on here as well. It's this one here. Choose to share the screen. I'm going to um, zoom in just a little bit so you can see it better. OK, not a whole lot, but just a little bit so you can see it, this the screen a little bit bigger. Again, this is an, a PAX E700 that I'm, I'm using to, to demo this on. So I'll zoom in to 125. All right, so the area where you want to add inventory is, is under the inventory function. OK, got it on here. And then you want to go to products. And then you've got this add button on here on the products. OK, you click on here. It's pretty much the same process, same fields that you would have on the um, on your web portal. OK, uh, just, you know, again, uh, you can have test category. Or test item two. OK. Um, you choose a category, it'll give you your list of categories on here. OK, we chose. Um, was I think it was beverages last time. Perfect. OK, again, the vendor, same thing as before. You can choose whether we want to track inventory or not. OK, uh, you put your stock quantity on here. The 25 start with just kind of the same thing that you saw before EBT eligible, whether it is restricted age or not, which, uh, you know, display on the menu. Um, you your tax category, which would be your tax standard. The price that you charge will do seven dollars for this guy all right and then we'll do um five dollars now on here it does show your cash price and your price with tax because the uh the, the cash discounting which is um activated on this unit 
is applicable here. OK, uh, what your cost would be and say we do four dollars, so it won't be as good of a profit margin as the previous product that we did on here. OK, so you've got it on here, everything. OK, we got more and you got some additional stuff if you got, you know. Um, if it is, again, by weight, it's a modifier or not, you got a skew and all that stuff. If you want to add attributes and things like that on here as well. OK, and then if you've got. Any any type of a discount and your attributes on here, so it's organized a little bit differently than on the other unit. OK, but it has pretty much all the same information on here. OK. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save this here. Okay, save successful. Now you're going to have that item listed on here. Oh, and of course you have your your low inventory quantity on here as well. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much the uh, the second way in which you can uh, create or add a product manually on here. Um, and you've already seen the one on the uh, on the web portal. So with that, I conclude this the uh, the video for today. Thank you.